Let's see that. These bolts. Red to battery. Black to battery. Yellow to plus. Okay, yellow light. And the light switch, okay. Hey everyone. Well, I bought some gauges and I bought a gauge housing. So I got a tack, an oil temp gauge, and a bolt feeder. So actually you might be able to see here. That's what we're looking at. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and mount this. Um, I had an old CB radio in here from 1974 that came with the bus. Doesn't seem to be really working too well, so I'm gonna, I just ordered another one, and I'm gonna go ahead and put that in here. Just a basic 40 channel unit in Bearcat. Um, so we're just gonna put that in here once that comes here in 30 minutes, it sounds like. And we're gonna go and start installing everything, prep for the big voyage. No go. All right, guys, so we're on the way to get some more supplies for Alfonso here for the interior. Um, I wired the gauges. Don't pay attention to the wires because I got to still tuck all those in. I got my CV radio that I tried installed today and it was broken. So, um, got my gauges in, everything's working. So, that's a good sign. Got my tack. I got my oil temp gauge, which has changed all a bunch of different colors. And then I got my uh, battery voltage gauge. So um, everything's looking pretty good. Um, my generator light kind of stays illuminated a little bit and I don't like that, I don't know what's going on. So I want to get the bolt gauge um, and everything's good. So must be connection or something faulty going through this uh, setup here. But all in all, she's running pretty good. Didn't bring any tools with me. Not a good idea, but we're going right up the street here, and uh, we're going to hit Lowe's and Home Depot. They're right across the street from each other, so um, it's running smooth so far. I've taken it around downtown Newport Ritchie on a couple runs, and uh, haven't had any issues. The only thing I did notice, once it's warm, it's a little, a little um, difficult to start. Uh, not too bad, though. So I'm going to look at my timing, look at the coil, look at everything. And, uh, might, might do some adjustments here soon. So, otherwise, I mean, if it's a bus, it's slow, 60 hertz, single port. As long as it goes, it's all that matters. So, we a couple runs here before Dodo. It's gonna be like a four and a half hour uh, trip. So, just wanna drive it around town a little bit. Twelve seconds later. Sitting on the side of the road in the middle of nowhere. Without a tire iron. Without any tool. Literally. With nothing. Apparently the lug nuts loosened up. I don't remember not tightening them. But that's what we're having right now. Loose lug nuts wobbly driver's rear wheel so we're waiting for some assistance and uh we're just gonna chill out here at the abc pest control for the time being It's not supposed to look like this. 
Yeah. Daniel for the rescue. Is that good, Daniel? What's it doing? <laughs> it's rubbing. Oh, yeah. Oh. It's... I'm going to pop them all off and make sure they're all tight. We literally just got done saying, you know what? We should probably get some tools in here. Sure you have tools on yeah. Here. So, I'm going to have to check them all out. Oh yeah. As well for the floor. For the floor or something. I just want to scratch all the it's just it's all gonna be a little covered. scratchy, but yeah, oh. it's good. It'll be covered. This will be nice. Oh so nice. So nice.